All right, morning six is upon me. Pretty excited because the wind kind of died down. It's a little breezy out there, but not too bad. It is currently four degrees above zero. So not really a heat spell, but a lot warmer than it's been most mornings. I have the coffee going right now. And also, as you can see, I got a pot of snow. There's three liters of snow that I'm gonna boil down to make some water. I have more water in the truck that's probably frozen solid that I'll have to defrost. And I also have to go out today to get another propane tank. I burned through the first tank of propane uh, sometime middle of last night. Finally went through one after almost, uh, I guess after five days you can call it. So I'd like to have, I always like to have two canisters of propane just some, in case something happens. I, I've gotten a bad propane can before where even you know the 20 pounder where it just didn't burn for some reason I don't know if it had had a bad mix or uh, or was old or what the story was but I like that too so I'm gonna go out there get the batteries charged um, get my charger pack charged get some propane probably take a load of stuff out of here that I really don't need just to make it easier when I go out for the final run so that's the story day six we're gonna try to get on the bigger part of the lake and do some jigging and have fun with the electronics Let's take a quick tour of the shack here and show you how I set it up for, for the extended stay. All right, so you've seen the wood floor. Wood floor keeps things really nice and dry and, and uh, pretty flat, which is awesome. It's one of the, the comforts I, I'd hate to go without. But over here, I have the cooking area and general storage area. A two burner, propane stove, Coleman. Uh, a couple pots and pans kicking around. There's a couple more in my tote. Uh, various stuff up top here for stuff I'm going to need cooking or, or um, batteries and chargers and stuff like that. Generally, I keep these windows shut because if you don't, they will drip down and you don't want stuff dripping down on there. And Same goes over here. I keep my bed uh, a couple inches away from all the walls. So that way, the same. So there's no water dripping down off the walls. And I keep those windows shut too for added insulation. If anything's going to wet this bed, it's going to be me. So I don't leave it up against the wall or, or leave those uh, windows open there. It will drip if you're running some heat in here. If you're not running a ton of heat, then it definitely will um, it'll ice up and then eventually drip. If you're running a ton of heat, then it should actually stay dry. But I usually don't run a ton of heat because I don't want to burn through lots and lots of propane. And, and my comfort level with the cold isn't too bad. For lighting, I don't know if you see it, but... I got these hanging lights here. These are LEDs that just kind of hang off the little rafters. I got a couple of the bigger ones there, a couple of the smaller ones over here that I just move around when, whenever I need them. Uh, they're really bright, good on batteries, and they're fairly cheap. You can get them from the Walmart or the Amazon. Uh, this is something I just added for this trip is a fan. This is a fan and a light, which is pretty sweet. It, it does have a rechargeable battery, which I'm not sure if I like or not, or if I'd rather just have batteries that, that I could take out and change out when I need them. But it's nice to push. A lot of the hot air just sits up here in the top here where it's uh, quilted and insulated and with heat rising. So it's nice to push it back down with this fan. And it's pretty quiet, so. A clothes bag underneath. Um, two totes. Here's one of them that's full of food and various cooking stuff, um, toiletries first aid stuff. Got a small tote right here full of cooking stuff with spatula, utensils, oils, um, spices, stuff like that. Coffee pot, teapot, water pot, extra battery. I uh, got my chair that I bring out fishing with me. It's pretty sweet. It's metal. It folds up just that easy so you can grab it and bring it out fishing. And it's rugged. It's not one of those plastic ones that's going to break. I've had that for a couple of years and it's starting to show some wear and tear but not too bad considering how hard i am on it i'll bring a garbage bag for a plastic bag for laundry and another one for garbage under here and then at the foot of the bed i usually just throw my electronics and ice fishing stuff and helmet and bait bucket over here and that's pretty much the setup so pretty cozy um you could you could definitely get another person, another cot in there, but it would make it pretty tight. and You'd have to, to plan a little bit ahead for packing. I think I'm going to take a trip later this year with a good buddy of mine somewhere. We haven't decided yet. I haven't heard from him for a little while. So, so we're going to try two people in this one, or I think he's got one too. So we're going to bring two tents up and have at least one cook tent and one sleeping tent. So yeah, 
So that's the setup. It's pretty easy, pretty comfortable. All right, guys, I'm going to cut in from my home office here and give you a little update. I lost a bunch of the files on my memory card. They got corrupted. I don't know, frozen batteries, whatever. But this next little segment here is I was running some of my supplies out to the truck and I ran into some buddies that I just met a couple days prior up here on the same lake from Machaya, some really good old boys that, uh, that are just really into ice fishing and know their stuff. And I was hanging out with them for a little while. Flag goes up pile on the sleds, go flying after it. Brandon jumps off and runs up to the trap and just starts flailing elbows, and this is what happened. Uh, oh, that's a, oh, that's a huge brook trout. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <Ow>! <laughs> that's awesome. Couple that's pitches awesome. and I'm gonna send him. That's a big trout. There you go. I got it. There you go. Oh, nice yeah. right there. It's the nicest brook you ever caught right there, Colin. You got some pictures of him, did you? Yeah, I got good pictures. Anybody want a measurement on him? Or? Huh? You want to get a measurement or are you good? Sure, I'd like to. I'm going to get him wet though. You want to help me, Colin? Sure, let's see. Get some more too. pictures. 21? Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. That's a friggin' tank. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> you started going around the hole, I was like, holy. Yeah, you got a laker on? I was like, oh no. <laughs> Dude, I come cut the water, the hole was boiling when I jumped off my sled. You see me? Yeah. It looked like I was going to a house fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. China. China. I just caught that fish. No sh huh? Holy. All right, night number six, special treat tonight. I am eating a deer that I was lucky enough to harvest this past season right up in this area, not far from here. I got it cooked with some onions and poblano peppers, and it is super, super tender and very, very good. I love eating deer meat. Pretty much everything that the woods in Maine provides is excellent for eating. I didn't do a lot of fishing today. I didn't really catch much for fish, but I got to hang out with some Machias boys that are really cool guys that are uh, lobstermen. I got a feeling they're excellent ice fishermen. And got to see a Staven brook trout caught and released today, which was really cool. They don't get a lot bigger than that in this area. That's, that's a real trophy of a brook trout. So that was really cool. Uh, Brandon caught that today, uh, right as I got over there happened to stop by and got to talking and that flag went up and he caught that amazing fish so that was really cool and also those guys left me what was left of their bait so if i stay a couple more days which i'm not sure i'm thinking maybe tomorrow is going to be my last day up here i'm having a ton of fun i got some propane i got a little bit of gasoline left for the sled batteries dead on the ice auger it's been a week a lot of holes uh, I could bring it out and charge it with my generator. I might call an end to this trip. I'll shoot it for a week, and tomorrow I'll make, make it a week. So we'll see how it goes.